Hello Greater Western Sydney, I'm Hana, I'm from Penrith Solar Centre and today I want to have a chat to you about a regular question that we get. Uh, that question is, can our PV panels continue to function if the grid is down? The short answer is no. Your inverter actually relies on a connection to the grid. Uh, once that connection is down, it actually just shuts off. What the great thing about the Tesla Powerwall is, is that it actually mimics the grid and it actually fools the inverter to thinking it's still connected and that way it still actually powers the house um, and it'll fill up the battery and, and once it gets dark, it'll, it'll start to plan the battery and still power the house. So you'll basically be the only house on the street with power. Um, probably have a lot of gatherings, um, a lot of people knocking on the door for some milk. If you can survive summer in Australia, it's safe to say that you can survive pretty much anything. But what about your solar panels? Well, in the solar industry, manufacturers rate their panels for peak temperatures and wind loads. Different weather conditions are going to have a different impact on your solar system. This comes down to things such as temperature, bushfires, hail, snow, and other extreme weather conditions. Now, Arna's already spoken about what happens during a blackout, but let's talk about what happens during rain. As some of you have probably already noticed, for those of you that do have solar systems, your solar panels are actually still producing energy during cloudy days or rain. This is because solar panels don't actually require direct sunlight in order to produce energy. They only require the photons emitted from the sun in order to produce the electricity. So even during cloudy days, when there's not much sunlight at all, photons are still being emitted into the atmosphere, and that's why your panels are still producing energy. Q-cells put their panels through some pretty insane tests to make sure that they can survive in Australian conditions. One of the tests that they've actually got currently running is at the DKA Solar Center in Alice Springs. You can check that out live. Head to our blog to see more information about the tests that QCELS put their panels through. Performance wise, over a 25 year period has a 2% degradation after one year and then 0.54 every year after that. So after the uh, 25 year period, um, it sits at about 85% of uh, production. So a uh, really good quality panel. The Qcell Duo G5 Plus is exclusive to the Australian market. It's been made for Australian conditions. Um, it'll last, a high, it's been tested for hail up to 3.2 centimetres at 100 kilometre an hour direct hit. We've mentioned this a few times and we can't stress it enough. A key factor when getting solar installed is making sure that they're CEC accredited installers. This is so you know that they're installing it safely and up to all the correct codes. When it comes to solar, please do your research. Look on forums, read reviews, and check your installer's galleries to see the quality and what people have to say about their work.